Hello guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Ask Lee. It's a Q&A session and you might have noticed, you probably will have noticed actually, that I've been a bit vacant and not really making any uploads for the last couple of months actually. I've not done any videos and I wish I had some brilliant excuse for you like I've been in the mountains finding myself or something like that, but unfortunately not. I've just been really busy with work. I've sort of started a new web design slash video making business and it's been taking off a little bit. I've been really, really busy with some other projects and things. So um, that's all. It's a bit of a lame excuse as well. I've also been waiting for some new equipment to allow me to keep doing these videos. But I'm back and I'm going to be putting a lot more effort into this channel because you guys are awesome and I don't want to neglect you. Anyway, this is a QA. and I'm rambling as I always do. So I'm going to get stuck in with this first question which is from Lee Hodgkiss on my Castle on the Hill tutorial. And Lee says, would it be a Boss 5, uh, no, not 5, Boss FS5U or 5L I would need? Um, it's actually a Boss FS5U that you would need, Lee. That's the one that I'm using, and it allows me to change the channel quickly on my loop pedal, which is a Boss RC30, for anyone that was wondering that. Next question is from Chris Elrod on my Shape of You tutorial, and Chris says, Liverpool? And I'm assuming that you're referring to where I'm from, Chris, and it's not Liverpool. I'm from a tiny little village that nobody's ever heard of called Buxworth, which is between Buxton and Stockport, just south of Manchester. But I've not lived there for the last 11 years because I now live on the south coast of Spain. Next question is from Nick Perdames. Per deems. Sorry, Nick, I don't know how to pronounce your name properly. But thanks for your question. And it goes, Lee, I was wondering for your next Q&A video if you could do a quick lesson on how to strum the guitar when you're playing chords without a pick. It sounds great. Thank you very much, Nick. I will actually do a full video on that. If you could get in touch in the comments section below this video and let me know what song in particular you're referring to, uh, whether it's a finger picking thing or an actual strumming thing, um, just so that I get it right and teach you the correct thing. So I look forward to hearing from you in the comments section below this video, Nick. And the next question is from Nick also. Um, thanks for all your questions, mate. And it says, hey Lee, sounds great once again. Wondering what kind of mics you use for your lead vocals and for your loop station. Thanks. Cheers again, Nick. Um, for my lead vocal, I tend to use, well, I always use my condenser mic, which I bought from Thoman which is a company in Germany where I buy all my music gear. And I'm actually using that mic now. It's a T-Bone SC400, I think it is. The shop mount of the mic's actually covering the name at the moment, but I think it's an SC400. It costs about 60 euros, but it does need a phantom power if you're using it through your interface. It needs to have phantom power uh, to power it. And for my loop station, I use a Shure SM58, which is just standard in it, really. It's the industry standard mic. Uh, next question is from Luke Taylor. And Luke says, nice cover. Has anyone ever told you you sound like Tim Minchin? Um, cheers. No, nobody's ever told me that. Um, a buddy of mine from school, Stephen, is a really, really big Tim Minchin fan. So I am uh, sort of familiar with his stuff. But nobody's ever told me that I sound like him. So thanks for that, um, Luke. Next question is from Joe Oblique on my Sennheiser E945 review. I'm going to get my piece of paper because this is quite a long uh, question. Uh, Joe says, I'm considering getting this microphone, but I'm not sure if it's any good for aggressive vocals such as metal. I currently have an EV767 and an SM58 in my arsenal. And to be honest, I prefer the sound of my EV, but sound men seem to prefer the SM58 for some reason. What do the lows on this mic sound like? Cheers for that, Joe. Um, I would actually say, um, despite the fact that I use my Sennheiser mic for my sort of delicate acoustic stuff, because it picks up like all the different sort of aspects of the vocals, when I play with my band, I tend to use a cheaper mic. I use an SM58 or a, a cheaper lower end Shure mic, purely because depending on how aggressive you have your back end, your back line, um, so how loud you have your guitars and your bass with the Sennheiser I think that some of that would bleed through because it's so sensitive um, I tend to prefer um, sort of a mic that's not quite as good for rock stuff um, and that's not to say that the Sennheiser won't be any good with the band I've never actually tried it to be honest but um, 
yeah, I just prefer a mic like the Shaw SM58 that I use has quite a close range. It only picks up from a close proximity, I find, in comparison to the Sennheiser. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll sort of go into a bit more detail and elaborate a little bit more. But yeah, I hope that helps you. Uh, and my next question is from Noah J on my Castle on the Hill cover. Uh, it's not actually a question from Noah. Uh, it just says, if you were to take formal vocal training, you would be able to have an absolutely incredible voice. Most guys don't have anywhere near that range, so there's a ton of potential there. And uh, I just included that because I really sort of thought it was nice and sweet. Thanks, Noah. Um, it's really nice to see that people think that I've got potential and stuff. Um, so, yeah. And thanks to everyone, really, that puts positive comments. I get a lot of them. Very, very few people slag me off and, and sort of put negative comments and stuff. So uh, we've got a nice community here. I'm liking it very much. Um, next question is from Ben Muscle, and Ben says, what guitar strings do you use? Um, thanks for the question, Ben. I actually use um, Elixir coated, Elixir Nano Web coated Phosphor Bronze strings, um, gauge 13 to 56. That's what I use on my acoustic guitar. I'm actually considering switching back to gauge, thir no, gauge 12, sorry, um, which is what I used to use. I'm not sure what I prefer. I find the 13s, I don't know if it's the, what it is to do with it, I don't know. But I find that the 13s sort of go dead a little bit quicker. It's almost like they're being muted slightly. Maybe it's something to do with the guitar and the and the tension of the neck or something, I don't know. But potentially I might end up going back to 12s, but for now I'm on 13s. For my electric guitars, I use Ernie Ball custom gauge stainless steel strings gauge 10 to 46 they're awesome strings i love those for electric guitar nice feel nice sound and my final question is from satan satan himself lucifer satan on my you need me i don't need you tutorial um probably not the real satan but i thought um i was going to include this question just in case and uh L lucifer says what loop pedal are you using? And most people on my channel already know, or they're not even bomb, but. And my final question is from Lucifer Satan. Um, I don't know if it's the real Satan, but I didn't want to take any chances, so I thought I'd include this question in this episode. And Satan said, What loop pedal are you using? And most people on my channel already know this, but I'm using a Boss RC30 loop station, um, which is the double pedal one. Um, so, yeah. Now you know that. That question was on my You Need Me, I Don't Need You tutorial, if anyone was wondering what video that was on. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all for this video. I wanted to keep it short because the other Q&A videos tend to get a little bit long. But as I always say, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all those good things. And you can look at my website if you want at www.leetownsend.com. Yeah, uh, all social media stuff at Tweed Nelson is my handle as a fly uh, I missed um, but yeah I've got sort of some decent ish plans for this channel coming really really soon um, to sort of force me to bring more content to you because I don't want to neglect you guys you're awesome I love this community and um, yeah I don't want to sort of let it rot or whatever um, I like the way we're building I like the people that are here and uh, yeah, it's always great to hear from you. Leave questions on all my videos and I'll try and get back to you in the next episode of this. But there will be some more tutorials coming very soon. Uh, but that's all for now. Um, until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.